My name is Ned Patterson. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Minnesota Veterinary College. EIC is a, a syndrome that's been termed exercise-induced collapse. It is a common in Labrador Retriever dogs and it also exists in a couple other dog breeds. After excitement and intense exercise, they collapse in the rear end and they get very weak in the rear end but they don't seem painful. If you let them keep going, they'll drag themselves around. If you stop them immediately, they're usually fine after about 20 to 30 minutes of rest. But unfortunately, if it, the, the collapse progresses, occasionally a dog can actually die. So when it happens, we now know that since we've discovered the cause of it, that they have decreased nerve transmission from the signal from the brain to the muscles as they do this intense activity and excitement. At some point, about five to 10 minutes into it, the, the nerve signals are not as strong. The combination of this work is we discovered a gene that makes a protein related to the chemical and electrical signals in the nerves. The significance of it are two part. Part that this is the first mutation in this gene in any mammal. And the second part, which is great for Labrador breeders and other related retrievers that also have this that we can now test for it. It would be significant to help decrease the disease because people don't want to have the disease. In addition, it could have some monetary implications because a Puppies easily cost hundreds to thousands of dollars. We, you could test for the dog as early as five to six weeks of age as their puppy before you decide whether you're going to put them through all the training.